Welcome back to Music with Ryan. Thanks for joining me. As you just saw and heard, this week's feature lesson is the Carter Family Standard East Virginia Blues. And I also know it done by the Stanley Brothers as well, but I kind of followed Maybell Carter's guitar part and their melody line the most when I was writing this up arrangement. And this is a nice beginning to advanced beginning arrangement. Uh, again, done in the Carter style. And uh, they did it in the keys of E or F, and I just capoed three and did it um, in the E flat. I sound the key of E flat when I play out of C position, which I regularly do Carter style in the C position, sometimes in others, but. So if you'd like to purchase the full length lesson, this is just a preview here on YouTube. Then you can click the first link in the box and shoot you over my website. And there you can check out, yeah, again, buying the full length version. It's about 25 to 30 minutes in length of video. It comes with PDF tabs and three backing tracks. I also have some live video performance uh, I call them live practice tracks of me playing it slow, medium, and up to tempo. And it's just with no audio, you know, just the video close up. I think that's a good little tool to have as well. So if you like the way I teach and approach learning and you like this genre, I got tons of stuff in this genre, you can click the second link in the box and, it, and you can learn about being a member at my website. And for a monthly fee, you can access all my video, full length video lessons. I got over 220, I think this is 222. Uh, video lessons over there and uh, you can check it out it might be something for you if you like the way I approach learning again so we're gonna go ahead now and just walk through this uh, throw the tabs upon the screen go through the first few measures and give you an idea how it's gonna go thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy all right so let's go ahead and break down this uh, arrangement for the East Virginia Blues again done in the Carter style and I got my capo up on the third fret and of course you can put the capo anywhere to sound any key you'd like or whatever fits your vocal, but um, we're sounding the key of E flat when I play out of C position, the capo on the third fret. Okay. Um, lastly, the markings on the bottom of the staff are your pick directions, and um, any markings on top of the staff are left hand fingerings, which I don't think there's too many out of the ordinary. So, but uh, I'll play these first three measures, and then we'll break them on down. So starting on beat three. So one, two. complete that phrase the first few notes of measure four there that little triplet run but so let's take a look a little closer here so again starting on beat three so those first two markings are again quarter note rests if you're not familiar with that but um, and I'll be working you know the whole Carter style thing I'll be working out of my C position or out of whatever chord I'm in I'll be playing the melody out of that chord and that's a lot of that style so uh, the first uh, few notes, I got a 0 2 hammer on my D string. And then I got an open G. And those two 0 2 hammer, that's an eighth note. And so we don't want. You know, it could be done, but that's not what's written. I want those, those two notes sh should be equal in duration. You gotta slam that finger on there. Um, for you beginners out there not used to the hammer ons, you really gotta get a nice solid, you know, well, hammer onto that string and onto the fretboard. Um, then there's a quarter note, open G, quarter note. And then the next measure, I do another zero two hammer on. I'm gonna be doing a lot of this zero two hammer on on the D string. And then the next little bit is a strum, a down up. 
Okay, so it might look like more to the eye than what's really going on. Uh, so that first full measure, or measure two of the piece, notice I have marked there I'm just strumming the bottom three strings on my down up um, even though I'm playing a full C chord I'm really just strumming the bottom three if you get more than that that's okay because you know you're still fingering your C chord but I just like to do that kind of cleans things up a little bit okay and then I come back to the second fret of the D it's a quarter note this time and then another strum that measure exactly go. And then my next measure, um, D string, A string, and open D, and then open G, but on an upstroke. So what's going on there? I mean, the first three notes are just quarter notes. But that third quarter note as you see, it's got a little tie over top of it. And then the note in parentheses, that's the note it's being tied to. So we don't play the note in parentheses, okay? So we hold for the duration of both the notes combined. So we have a quarter note and an eighth note. So one and a half beats, okay? And then on the and of beat four, we pluck the open G string. So that may be a little confusing if you're not used to tied notes or understand what those are. So, and I encourage you, you know, it's good to know, but I encourage you to use your ears too. If it's really troublesome, just use your ears and just try to play the rhythm I'm, I'm going for, so, or what's written. Um, three, go. quick little note um, for some of you who've seen my videos I'm kind of repeating myself but um, you know down strokes on down beats and up strokes on up beats and that's why that last note of measure three that open G is on an up stroke because it's on the and okay so I pluck up on the and beats down beats one two three and four and beats or up beats I pluck up so I have a one, two, three, four, and down, 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 up. Okay. One, two, three, four, and. So I cause a little syncopation there in the melody. All right, so I'm going to play all three of these in context. Two, ready, go. little lick in there they, the phrase kind of goes together really to complete it all measure four but Three, four, and. okay so really got to have a nice little touch and be able to come on the upstroke there and uh, you know not have the tone or you know kind of sound like you're really you know plucking it too hard I guess so So let's move on now. So the next uh, three measures sound like this. We have to start off with a triplet lick. Ready and go and. Do that again. Two, three, four. Triple 
so the triplet, like this only happens in this spot in the tune. And um, this is a little bit more of an advanced beginner intermediate thing right here. So I know this most of this arrangement is beginner, but then I throw in this triplet lick here. Um, so we have three notes, or one pluck, three notes. Okay? One pluck. 